Hi, I'm David Brannon, disability lawyer. In this video, I'm going to answer the question, what is a CPP disability medical adjudicator? At the end of this video, you'll know what a CPP disability medical adjudicator is and how that person goes about making decisions. That's important because it will help you do a better job with your application and appeals. Now, after watching this video, if you enjoy it, please hit that like button and also subscribe and hit the bell notification so you'll continue to get these videos delivered to you every week uh, and so that you can stay on top of all this. So what is a CPP disability medical adjudicator? Who is this person? It's a very official name, but what are, who are they and what do they do? A CPP medical adjudicator is one of the core people that work at Service Canada processing CPP disability claims. They are actually the person who is responsible for case managing your application from the time it's received until the time of the final decision. They intake the information that you send, they open their case on you within Service Canada, they open your application. They're the ones that actually call you, write the letters to you, follow up with you to get more information. And it's their role to actually, it's called adjudicate your claim. And that means they get information in, they look to see if things are missing. And then the adjudication part just means they're making a decision on whether to approve or deny your claim. So it's important to know a little bit about who these medical adjudicators are because one of the keys to winning any disability case is knowing the decision maker and presenting your case in a way that will be compelling to the decision maker. We actually know a lot about them because of the job requirements. The only people that can be CPP disability medical adjudicators are registered nurses who are licensed to practice in the province where they reside and work for Service Canada. So you can be assured that the person who's gonna be managing your claim is a registered nurse. Now most people don't know that, but this, this was a positive thing in my opinion from Surface Canada. They wanted people who were managing these claims to have a very good medical background and nurses do have a broad medical background covering many different areas. And so it was logical that they would be chosen as a uh, job requirement for this, for doing this medical adjudication. Usually this is their full-time job working as a nurse adjudicating and deciding on these CPP disability medical claims. So you may be wondering, what do these nurses know about the law and uh, CPP disability and all that? Well, let me assure you, they do get a lot of training. And uh, my understanding is quite a bit of training on the CPP legislation and on the law as it relates to the CPP disability claims. In fact, we do a lot of appeals that go on to hearings and even on to the higher level hearings at the appeals division within the social security tribunal. And a lot of the legal submissions at those points are made by some of these nurses and some of them do are better submissions than I see coming from many lawyers. So rest assured that the people handling these claims are very professional, they're very well trained and that they will do a good job on your case. And you should, in my opinion, these are some of the best claim adjudicators in the country much higher trained and better qualified than many people at insurance companies even. Now, that's a very broad general statement and there's certainly a lot of very qualified people at insurance companies, but they're not registered nurses who have this background medically as well as having the information about how to process claims and things like that. So one of the final things to know about the medical adjudicators is that they are all required to follow the same process and framework for how to decide the CPP disability claims I've talked about this in other videos. It's called the uh, Canada Pension Plan Medical Adjudication Framework, but it is a framework that uh, basically tries to get everybody on the same page about how we're going to review CPP disability claims, what significance are we giving to the medical conditions and other information so that there's some consistency to how decisions are made. So there you have it. Now you know of what is a CPP disability medical adjudicator. For the most part, they are nurses who are registered in the province where they work and who get extensive legal training and training about the CPP disability program. And you can expect them to be following the CPP disability medical adjudication framework. Keep that all in mind when you're doing your claim so that you know when you're presenting it to them, you will wanna focus on a lot of medical issues 
And also you may want to refresh yourself on the adjudication framework because that's what they're going to be using when thinking about your claim. So if you enjoy the video, please hit the like button and also subscribe and hit the bell notification to make sure you get our videos sent to you every week on Thursdays. And if you take a moment to leave a comment, we would love to see the comments. We'll respond. Keep watching our video videos to learn more about the CPP disability process and good luck with your application.